Hey Planner Sisters, what's up? It's Snow and this is Snow by the Day and I'm here to do my planner spread for July 22nd. Right here what you see was last week's. It was a good week and now I'm able ready to move on. So I'm going to get my paper out, get everything done. I already have my lines down because that's a whole situation on its own you know I go all over Instagram really looking for inspo so this week I used the idea that I had last week but I wanted to split Saturday and Sunday up and make it vertical versus horizontal these are the sticker books that I'm using uh, um, paper studios agenda 52 and the lol girls this is new to me so I don't have time to be flipping around this is a happy planner sticker book that I was thinking about using about so we're just going to put that on the side just in case I need it they have great icons by the way but yeah so I want a pink spread this week I really started the summer off being really bright and everything but I'm ready to tone it down because I kind of like them chill vibes but yeah so we're gonna retrace my lines that were done in pencil and I'm gonna do them in pen I'm using my bookmark from Happy Planner as my ruler because why not multi-purpose things instead of buying new things. This is the best way that I get my straight lines. Usually my lines are really, really straight, but this week I was nervous because, ugh, duh, I was videotaping and knowing that the whole world could see this. And so, yeah, I was a little nervous. But yeah, what, what do y'all use anyway to um, make your lines straight? Because I be seeing some really straight lines. So I be like, what y'all be doing? And do y'all ever like your pen mess up and then you have to go over the line again? And the first time that you did it, it could have been straight. But then the second time you did it, you messed up. Or like when you don't have the ruler right and you really get using that edge. And you know how that red edge is rounded. And then your line go from straight to the dumps. <laughs> But yeah, what do y'all do? Let me know in the comment section. This is the most tedious thing ever, and I'm always ready to get it over with. That's why I kind of pre-plan ahead of time. Now it's time for them stickers, baby. I love doing my stickers. Y'all ever try to, like, the hardest part is finding that first sticker, like that statement piece, or is it your washi, or like, what is it? So usually mine is a statement piece, like a quote or something, but today I started with, like, these flags. Oh, I think these flags are so cute. I've had this book, y'all, probably since like the beginning of spring. Um, really waiting for like that one special spread. That one special spread to use that LOL rose and like, was that royal or cobalt blue? Washi, like that pattern. Y'all, that pattern is so plannericious. Like, oh my God, it's like planner chic. It's just like... Mm, it's just so pretty and then how it's going with that like that what is that that water paint splash on the side of that mini half sheet mm. plannerlicious so plannerlicious mm. this is gonna come out so cute y'all just watching me do it <laughs> i'm silly just watching me do it is getting me excited all over again so yeah and then I use like, I don't know, the regular flags. And now I'm using, what are they, arrow flags? I don't know. I'm not, y'all, I'm not the one. I don't know the names of all this stuff. And I'm not going to try to act like I know the names of all this stuff. So guess what I'm about to do? Make up stuff. So that first flag was your regular flag. And then this flag is your arrow flag. Okay. So I did that so I could like change it up a little bit, you know break up the uniform look and then I'm now I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to like horizontal or if I wanted to like vertical because like and you know like in Onichi like the real OG OG Onichi like Onichi whatever they're called the Onichi things I don't know um you know like the date is on a side is vertical versus horizontal so I was trying to see how that would look in my spread because I don't think I've done that but yeah, let's see what else I'm gonna pull out. What you what you looking at, girl? What you looking for? Hmm. I don't even know, and I did it. <laughs> I'm watching this with y'all, and it's quite funny. I find it funny because you never know what you like. Your brain is like going through so much when you're making a planet spread. Like 
you constantly trying to figure out how you're going to make this cute and how you're not going to mess it up because you can't start over because you're going to end up ripping up your sheets. Talking about ripping up your sheets, y'all, look at this whole box that I'm trying to lay. And this is exactly what's about to happen. I'm about to mess up either my sheet or my sticker. Let's place a bet on which one gets messed up. It's a cute sticker, though. I think it said, what? Planners. What did that thing say? Y'all, I'm really trying to line this up. Planners gone plan. That is the truth. It's still crooked. Y'all, and this the part right here, lifting stickers. I find that so funny. Just know I watch YouTube planner spreads playing with me all the time and i'm gonna tell you right now i am laughing when you are trying to peel up that sticker and it roll up on you or it like rip your sheet i'm telling you right now i'm telling you i'm laughing i'm not laughing at your struggle i'm laughing because them stickers be giving us H E W L hockey sticks. Like they be taking a mind of their own. Like they be trying to really act like they in charge. And we just be like, wait a minute. I purchased you. Like I bought you. It don't matter if I used the coupon or not. If I paid paid full price, I bought you. So you gonna do what I want you to do. Or you will get rolled up and thrown in the trash. Yeah, I just find that stuff so funny. Okay, I'm off task. Let me come back. Let me come back. Let me reel it in. Let me reel it in. Now we're looking for days, trying to look for a font that's gonna go right. It's gonna go, it's gonna be looking real cute. That's the struggle, y'all. Like keeping that, like keeping your theme together. So like my theme wasn't to be wild and crazy. My theme was to be planner chic. So I need some dates and I need some days of the weeks that are chic. And it looks like I'm struggling because Happy Planner got all this wild and crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was another book, y'all. I think that's the journaling book. I pulled that out because I forgot that I needed dates and date covers. Y'all, that sticker right there. That font right there. I like it how it look right there. I've been hoarding them stickers. I bought that journaling sticker, what? It was before school got out, so probably like may i don't know i bought that sticker earlier this year sticker book earlier that year and i've been hoarding these because that font to me is so beautiful like i wish my handwriting really looked like that and i knew i could not just use these set of stickers just on any spread you can't use certain stickers just on any spread like you have to hoard them because you're going to hoard them for a moment like this a spread like this Y'all, that is so cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, mm -mm. I shock myself sometimes. I really, truly do. And now I think this is when I'm going to determine how I want my weekend. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. Spoiler alert, I ain't like that. I ain't like my words being upside down and i i didn't like that i want my words to be legible and able to read from left to right i don't like it i ain't like it i did not like that here i go with my little splitting tool y'all i went this really like my second full year of doing my planner thing so my first year i went without the, the splice or the cutter or whatever you want to call it and i did my thing because i was really like that's really unnecessary like i love watching y'all use it i was like oh that's so fancy like she a legit planner babe with her splicer and her whatever them colors is called but i finally gave in and bought me one and it changed my life and i really think that it allowed me to move to the next level of planning. I'm a different type of planner -er because of that splicer. Y'all, I'm able to do so much. My cutting lines is so accurate. My cutting lines is so crisp. All because of that splicer. So, there's going to be a planner girl 
that's gonna be like watching my video and like thinking girl that is so not necessary and all and if you are that girl one day in life and you watch this and you don't have a slicer and you think that I'm doing the most with my slicer I challenge you to go get your own slicer and I challenge you to actually use it and I bet you money that you will never plan a day in your life without that slicer okay next topic <laughs> I think now we're doing with the actual days. And so I picked the um, the small dates because they were a lot more basic and small. And I didn't want any of the, I didn't want any color to mess up my color scheme. And I didn't want any font to try to outshine my date, my days, days of the weeks, because they are the um, epitome of cuteness and I think they're my favorite part of a spread. So I went with the small dates and I kind of wish that I didn't do my cutting so early because you see on Wednesday, I cut the white part off. And so now my date really doesn't have white background to pop off of. So we had a little challenge right there, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay though. It still look cute. It still look cute. I think I kind of trimmed it a little bit, trimmed off some of the clear excessive, um, the extra part of that number what you doing girl come back on screen girl okay now girl okay I'm about to say snow get in frame boo get in frame y'all that is cute mm -mm -mm. I shock myself sometimes did I already say that? I think I did. If I didn't, oh well, I'm probably going to say it again. I really do. Y'all, planning is a lifestyle, but it is a hobby. And I really think it's like a form of art. I really do. And I think the more that you do it and you find your style, it's not about trying to make your spread look like everybody else's or do the trendy thing you know it's about really doing the things that it's about making your spread make you happy and only only your i don't know what to say like only only you know what's gonna make you happy so it's all good and dandy to like every picture on instagram and and save and refer back to but just know like at the end of the day like you might take from a whole bunch of people's ideas but like there you you can't you can't be making your planner spreads based on the trendy thing or based on a picture that got 500 likes like you can't you just have to have fun with it and you have to make it functional but also something that makes you happy something that makes you want to always come back to it and I just feel like my spreads are like is like my art form. Every sticker, it's it's kind of like stickers are my what are they called? Um, artistic media or something. What is it called? Mold of y'all know what I'm talking about. Like some people like paint, some people like draw, some people like markers, some you know just uh, some people like just different forms of it. And my form is stickers, and I really be feeling like my art this is my art that was a whole soapbox i missed all of laying down july in that cute cup oh well that's a cute sticker though playing like a boss because i am girl because i am i am a boss yes yes what's that sticker say i need all the coffee that is so cute I, lately i have been anting up my um coffee intake i don't know it's just something about it don't really do anything for me but it's just something about drinking something warm at your desk when you're like sitting at your desk putting your stuff down waking up your computer putting in your passwords and just having that little warm cup of coffee i usually get the smallest one because i don't even finish drinking it oh y'all look at them lol girls Oh, trying to steal the spotlight. Who do they think they are? Missy on the left, Missy on the right. Smart girls rule. You better know it. You better know it. Here we go with this. Oh, that's crooked. You better catch it, girl. Catch it for it. Roll up all on you. 
use that line i use that's one thing i this is my first spread of my happy nichi that i use line paper and not dotted and those lines really help to lay them stickers down because you just use the lines to guide oop oop it's okay it's a little crooked on the on the right that don't forget but it it work it work it will work what colors did y'all use for this week? Wasn't this week like Christmas in July or is that next week? I don't know. I thought about doing Christmas in July, but I I'm not ready for Christmas stuff, honestly. I I'm not I'm not ready for that. It's summer and it's hot. And in Texas, it's hot when it's supposed to be hot and then texas does this thing where it acts like it's up north and gets really cold and i don't appreciate that and i don't enjoy it so i don't want to do anything to speed that part of the season up so i don't think that we're gonna participate in that one we got to catch it on the next one oh but look at that washi strip though that's not really like an actual washi like on the roll it's the little strip in the sticker book but that is so cute and once again i've been waiting to use that pattern because it is so planner licious then i add another little girl down there because that's y'all i'm in graduate school and i have to keep up with my assignments they're five-week classes that go by so fast and i i will forget honey i'll forget what i'm supposed to read when i'm supposed to read it when i'm supposed to submit it when i'm supposed to turn in something so i have to get my little area together oh and here's a little habit tracker i um need to track when i take my medicine because i don't like taking medicine and i put it off and then i'll be trying to figure out if i took it or not so during the school year i was like doing really good because i had my classic planner and i kept track of it and during the summer i was just like yeah i don't care but i need to get back on there because i'm going to the doctors and they gonna know if I wasn't taking my medicine or not. So I don't feel like hearing their mouth. But back to the graduate school area. On the right, I usually have a side of things I need to do, which are like um, the readings, um, attending webinars, um, printing off documents. Cause I'm not a, I don't like to read stuff online, like on my phone. I, I'm like, I, as you see, I'm a paper person. I need to be able to write, highlight, flip the page so sometimes i just need to write a list of things that i need to do and then on the other side which is probably going to be that right side are the actual assignments that i have to turn in so every week those are usually my two little um topic uh little headers that i need are my to do and my to turn in and my turn in list and so i moved her over a little bit so she can kind of help split that up and not take too much and equally take up space on each side so each side has enough space for me to write on i did consider um using that happy sticker book that i showed y'all in the beginning for my icons but as you can see it was throwing off the feng shui and baby this spread right here this spread right here i will not mess it up just because i want to add stickers to it that's what i'm talking about i don't like all of them stickers everywhere it's just not me but that turned out so cute adding just a little deco here and there allowing myself plenty of space oh that is too cute girl see here i go trying to add stuff that ain't even cute take it off snow take it off that ain't cute Harry up <laughs> but yeah y'all this is so cute that turned out cute i really want to thank y'all for watching and let me know how you feel about it and i can't wait to see y'all spread bye